In this video we'll look at the difference between a shallow copy and a deep copy. Now in many programming languages you can use the assignment operator the equals to make a copy of an object. Let's see what happens if we try to do that with Python. If we have a list of numbers and we use assignment to create a new variable new numbers let's change the first number of our new numbers list so 0 and let's make it equal 9 instead of the 1 and if we print out the numbers list and the ID of the numbers list as well and let's do the same for the new numbers so we want to print out the new numbers and we want to print out the ID of the new numbers now if we run that so we can see both of the variables actually point to the same object as the IDs are the same which means new number isn't actually a copy of the object but just a reference to the original object. So if you make a change to new numbers, so changing the 1 to the 9, we also get the same change for the original object. So if we want to create a real copy of an object, Python provides us with a module copy. So let's import copy. And this module provides us with the functionality to do a shallow copy using the copy function or a deep copy using the deep copy function. So let's say we have a nested list of numbers called old list. Let's create a new list using the shallow copy. So copy.copy .copy and passing the object we want to copy. And let's change the first element of the new list from one to three to A, B, C. And let's print out both the old and new list. We can see now we have a copy of the object. So change the first level of the object did not change the original object. So the new list is now got ABC, but the original list still stays as one, two, three. Now let's try changing an element of the nested list. So let's change the first element of the list. So we'll make the three into a C. So the second element of the first list to a C. And if we look at the output now, we can see that both the lists have changed. So both of them have C's instead of 3's in them now. And the reason for this is because a shallow copy only creates a copy of the object, but stores a reference to each element of that object. So all the nested lists within our list object are all references. So if we wanted the object and all of its elements to be a copy instead of keeping references to the originals, we can use the deep copy. So if we change the shallow copy to a deep copy and give that a run, we can see that only the new list has changed the 3 to a C and the original stays the same, which means both objects are completely independent of each other and share no references between them when we use the deep copy. So that's the difference between a shallow and a deep copy. I hope this video helped. If you have any recommendations for new videos, put them down in the comments below and hit that subscribe button to stay updated and I'll meet you in the next video.